Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I got lost on my way here. Um, my apologies. I got lost on my way here. We're back in the saddle, folks. Uh, 10 a.m. live. It is Wednesday. <clears throat> the word for the people is to not allow negativity to seep in on this heart chakra Wednesday do not allow negativity uh, in any way to seep in remember the promise of the week that we made let's try to get this going the promise of the week that we made was to be Oh, and it's about to go down. One second. <laughs> the promise that we made to ourselves was that we would be looking for the good. We would be looking for the good in our lives and in the world. And so this morning... We recognize that we are loved and lovable and we're also seeking the good in our lives and we're seeking the good in our hearts and we're seeking the good in the world around us. And as long as you're looking for the good, good morning, Sunflower, and shout out to our membership, uh, member Tara, member Sunflower, um, and all of the 400 people who have been here today so far. Um, number one, know that you're loved and lovable. Good morning, my love. Good to see you. Know that you're loved and lovable. Um, and also know that looking for the good in your life uh, is going to bring the healing vibes you need to make it through day by day. And so we gather here, and all are welcome here, by the way. All are welcome here. I'm Dr. Flo, your host of the Morning Boost program. And all are welcome here. All are welcome to tap into the vibration that all is well. All is well. Everything is working out for your highest good. And out of this situation, only good must come. And you are safe in the world. Thank you for being here this morning. All are welcome here. All are welcome here. All is well. All is well. Everything is working out for our highest good. And out of this situation, only good must come. And we are safe. We affirm this morning through the power of affirmative prayer that all is well. All is well. Everything is working out for our highest good. And out of this situation, only good must come. And I am safe. Today is heart chakra day in our ecosystem of love. What does chakra mean? Chakra means energetic wheel in the body. We have tuned up from our grounding root chakra into, thank you, Francisco, uh, into our, um, your loved and lovable. We've moved from our root chakra up into our sacral chakra, into our solar plexus, and now on Wednesday, we land in our hearts. Did you know that there is brain tissue in your heart? That there's actually brain tissue and brain muscles uh, and, uh, in your heart there's a connection that goes from your heart to your head always and so whatever's going on in your heart will be reflected in your thinking this is science there are brain cells there are brain cells located in your heart did you know that thank you to the 1043 people who stopped by this morning to receive into their hearts that they're loved and well uh, that they're loved and lovable all are welcome here they are welcomed, loved, and lovable. But yeah, there, there's brain cells in your heart. And so if your heart is not tuned to something positive, then your brain won't be either. They also say that our hearts emit a frequency that, that goes out many feet in front of our bodies and that people can feel your vibes and your energy. Uh, maybe you're wondering this morning why you can't attract that lover or why you can't hold that job or why people are being weird towards you at the workplace or why you don't have harmony in your family uh, dynamic and environment and in your neighbors and things like that. It could be because 
the energy that you're putting out in the world that always comes back to you multiplied is not quite positive. Or maybe people can see that you have a critical heart. And if you have a critical heart, then you will walk around in life criticizing everything and everybody. And then they will feel that from you without you even speaking. That's why you go through the grocery store and you see people in the grocery store and the, the shopping mall and they just have a weird je ne sais quoi about them. Um, that is their auric feel. There's their, that's their heart vibration. You can feel like mm, something ain't right about her. Something ain't right about him. Um, it's because their hearts are tied to their brains and their hearts will even make them do things subconsciously that they uh, positively or negatively. Um, that they wouldn't do otherwise. It's important to check in with your heart and get clear this morning and every day about what you love. What do you love? I love being able to be present. I love being able to be still. I love being able to be focused. I love that I have uh, found the way to tap into my joy. I love the sun. We have none here. Uh, it's been overcast all Christmas week. But yes, the sun is behind the clouds giving the earth warmth. Without the sun, we would surely perish. What else do you love this morning, folks? It's so awesome to see 1,100 people come through this morning. A lot of them very, very silent and scared to speak up. But of course, tomorrow, Throat Chakra Thursday is coming so people can be able to, to, to stand up and speak up. Maybe starting tomorrow. What's on your heart this morning? What's coming up for you about love? Um, I will do a 10-minute recording later where I talk all about chakras and how they intertwine with our uh, mystical message of the day, uh, which we probably should pull now so that I'm ahead. Would y'all like to do that? Can we pull? Can we pull a mystical message now? Ooh. <laughs> Let's do that. We love coffee. We love food. I'm about to have some coffee and food. I have a strong suspicion that I'm going to need coffee today. <laughs> I have a strong suspicion. Okay, good morning, everybody. If you're meeting me for the first time, I'm Dr. Flo, I'm a community healer. I stand for love, I stand with love, I stand for humanity. All are welcome here, all are welcome here. So welcome to the space, uh, hopefully something that's said, or maybe even the message down below on your screen that you're loved and lovable is enough to change your entire life today. We're about to pick a card. Um, yesterday's card that we did, was personal journey and it was a really really nice card um it was confirmed by a lot of the crew and team and membership that the card really really rocked for them um let's get some light here i follow what feels right within me without needing validation from others i follow what feels right within me without needing validation from others. That includes all the people who come in through TikTok. If I came to TikTok and I hosted on TikTok um, out of a need for validation, I would surely not be here still because some days on TikTok, the validation is great. Like right now, thank you, Tara, for the roses. And then some days the validation on TikTok is just zero likes or zero people watching, you know? It kind of goes up and down. If I use the external validation of all of you in here in order to tune my frequency or to tune my self-esteem, I would surely perish as well. I would perish about as quickly. There's, um, there's a camera in here. So do I need to move somewhere else? No. So you can have privacy, you have clothes in there. Oh, he's dressed already. Great, 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 great. Sorry, I didn't want you all to get an extra kind of show. 
But if I needed validation here, um, that would not serve me because as you all know, you're probably not here on TikTok every day. So I would have an issue attracting the same numbers every day and, and followers and watchers and things like that. Um, and so it's just a really, really weird place to put myself in to live by the expectations or validations of others. Anyway, the card says for yesterday, this is yesterday's card. I will follow what feels right within me without needing validation from others. We are each on our own journey. Good morning, Poppy Wata. Good morning to you. You're loved and lovable. How are you, my darling? Thank you, King. Oh, there he is. Meow, meow. I have to go do some math. Yes, yeah, he has to go do some, he definitely has to go do some math. We are each on our own journey and mine does not need to look like anyone else's. We are each on our own journey. Uh, Sunflower says, hi, Poppy. He says, hey, Sunflower. We love you, girl. So yeah, we are each on our own journey. We are all on our unique soul curriculum. And our journey does not need to look like anybody else's. So if you're out there today and you're trying to compare yourself to other people or you're trying to keep up with the Joneses, as they say, or you're trying to really work hard in life to measure up to someone else's expectation of success, I want to set you free from that today. And I want to set you... I want you um, to, to be set free for the rest of your life from that feeling of needing to be like anyone else. No one can be a better you than you. No one can be a better you than you. I'll say it one more time. No one can be a better me than me, and no one can be a better you than you. No one. No one. I thank you to the 2,000 people who have stopped by this morning, receiving into their heart that they are loved and lovable. All are welcome here. You are welcome here, and all are welcome here. Thank you for being here this morning. Um, my enjoyment and satisfaction is validation enough. That was yesterday's card, personal journey. Let's pick the new one. I'm going to pull these out. Thank you to StarlightMysticBotanica.com, StarlightMysticBotanica.com, StarlightMysticBotanica.com for sending these cards over. Uh, Sunflower seems to be here this morning as one of the members of Love and Action Network. Uh, just tell me when to stop and that card will inform our conversation this morning and the ways in which we move throughout our day. Someone tell me when to stop and of course tell me top or bottom and we will move forward. Thank you so much to everybody that, oh, JW said stop. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Top or bottom? JW wants the top. Is that okay, uh, Sunflower? If he, uh, thank you for the rose, JW. He really, really wants a top card. Is that okay, Sunflower? Okay, great. Sunflower says yes. Top card there, flipping it over. A little selenite to remove the bullshit. Ooh. This is a very nice card. I've never seen this card before. This card says, dance it out. And it's got a little person on there moving and dancing it out. These are mindful messages. This is the solution to your problems today, folks. We pulled the solution to your problem. Yeah. Thank you, Jay. Or Jebda. Yes. Thank you so much. It says, I can move emotions through my body by dancing. Whenever I start to feel built up energy or crankiness, I play some music and move intuitively. I don't have to look a certain way, simply move and feel as the stress and heaviness begins to ease out of my body. Mm. Dance it out. This is, this is the solution. This may not be the solution to everyone's issues today, but this is definitely going to help somebody. Don't let life get too heavy. Don't let yourself get too put down. I tell my clients all the time, put, make yourself a playlist of music that feels good. General Station for Christmas, they made us an amazing playlist that we were listening to on Christmas Day, I do believe it was. And uh, what a wonderful playlist because moving energy in your body and, and, and dancing and shaking your butt, you know, to music 
um, is a great way to allow stress and heaviness. Once again, dance it out. Dance it out. I can move emotions through my body by dancing. Whenever I start to feel built up energy or crankiness, which we all have built up energy and crankiness from time to time, I will play some music and move intuitively. I don't have to look a certain way. Simply move and feel as the stress or heaviness begins to ease out of my body. This morning, I speak a word of love. This morning, I speak a word of light. I hope that all of the stress and heaviness, perhaps from the holidays that everyone is feeling, will begin to lift off of you. That you will begin to see that all the heaviness and stress that you've been holding on to, probably, you know, most people who hold on to stress and heaviness didn't start for the holidays. Let me lower the, um, good morning, Starlight. You're loved and lovable. I thought you were here already. Most people who, um, most people who have uh, stress and heaviness in their lives did not begin having that heaviness and stress for the holidays. Most people who have stress and heaviness in their lives, and only you would know how much stress and heaviness you have in your life, most people um, uh, have that and have had that for a long time. Thank you so much, Starlight. <laughs> so funny. Um, so, always in spirit, always present in spirit. <laughs> to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. We're only going to be here for about seven minutes more, and then we're going to go into a fellowship hall. I'm going to drop the Google Meet um, for the team um, as soon as we complete. But I would love to hear from you all this morning privately. Um, we had 2,600 people come through this morning. They all received the message that they are loved and lovable into their heart. This is a mental health ministry that I'm running. This is a hope ministry that I'm running. This is a purposeful, uh, uh, this is a purposely driven uh, ministry and work that we're doing. And so uh, in about six or six to 10 minutes, we're gonna cut out of here. I would like to give everybody who's still here in this space, you must feel this loving, healing vibration. You must you must feel this love flow to still be here. I want to give all of you all the special opportunity to come into our free membership. We have a membership online where we let all of our members know uh, what's going on with our daily programs. And we have a lot of programs throughout the day. And we also have a magazine, Love in Action Today, that highlights some of our leaders here. Uh, and also we have private telegram channels where we chat throughout the day and connect throughout the day to keep our hearts lifted along the journey. No one is alone. Uh, no one is uh, an island. Thank you, Jay. Uh, hopefully you'll be here every day. We're here every day in the 10 o'clock hour. We're in the midday hours. We do nighttime programs. We're always around. So if you tap on my face and follow and also tap the bell and turn the bell on on the profile, uh, TikTok does a pretty good job about letting people know when I have gone live to spread my version of love. It's not the version of love, it's just a version of love. Okay, for the struggling uh, AirPod. Today's mindful message card from our community and today is Heart Shocker Day as you all know, so we're gonna put this card into our heart space and talk about it. Dance it out. Okay, so not only is dancing it out good for your energetic heart and moving love and moving a positivity and moving all of that nurturing, loving, juicy energy, dancing it out is also cardio for your heart. You know you need cardio to keep your, your heart moving. Uh, I'm glad you're here too. There are, no, there are no mistakes in life, just happy accidents. We're all moving in synchronicity. There's a reason why the particular people who are under the sound of my voice right now are. It has something you know, to do with uh, a pebble going into a river stream uh, thousands of years ago or acorn falling off a tree at the right time. If you believe in that type of thing, we're all connected in life. And so there's a reason why you got up this morning at the time you did and was thumbing through TikTok and found a, a guy like me um, and the other 2,800 uh, people who come through this morning all of them wanting to find their dance, 
all of them wanting to find their inner expression. Everybody in the space wants freedom. Put waves in the chat this morning to all my membership. If you if you want freedom in your life today and for the rest of your life, put some waves in the chat for me this morning. Let's wake it up. And then I'll read the card. Let's get some waves going in the chat this morning. We are in our flow. We are in our, I see you sunflower. Thank you so much. We are in our freedom this morning. We're flowing towards freedom. We're flowing towards, uh, it, there you are, Tara, I see you. Yeah, these are the people this morning who are standing up to flow towards their freedom. We do not want to live our lives the same way that we have for the last decade. We don't want to live our lives the same way that we did for the last 10 months. We want to be free in this life. And part of being free in this life is what this card is telling us to do. And we pull these cards every day and we have community conversations every day around these things because it's important. Uh, dance it out. I can move emotions through my body by dancing. Whenever I start to feel built up energy or crankiness, because I can, listen y'all, I don't even think that I that I that I present as like happy go lucky anymore. I think that's changed over the years. I see the waves, starlight. Waves for your freedom. Waves ride those waves today. Whatever happens to you in life, ride the wave to your freedom. Not my freedom. Not their freedom. Your freedom. Ride the wave today to your freedom. I'm not a happy-go-lucky person, or I used to present on camera like a happy-go-lucky person, but I don't think I present as happy-go-lucky anymore. I think I present as raw and real and honest, and I get cranky. Uh, you want to know some of the things I get cranky about? I get cranky uh, about people who destabilize my peace. I get cranky about uh, folks who say one thing and do another. Um, I get cranky when I haven't had my coffee, which we're going to make together after we complete in about uh, the next 10 minutes or so. I'll make coffee over in the fellowship hall with, with the beloved membership. Um, but I get cranky just like anyone else because life is not predictable and usually they'll be like, I'm telling you something. If you're not cranky in yourself, just stand still and wait for the cranky people to come to you. They come to me every day on TikTok. We've had 22.8 thousand people come in today, 2.8 thousand, and I guarantee you a certain percentage of those folks uh, are cranky. Are you cranky here today? Let me know in the comments. Is anybody cranky here today? We have prescriptions. I'm a doctor on TV. Is anybody cranky today? Anybody in the comments cranky of the 2.8 thousand or the 91 in the room? Is anybody cranky today? Did anybody walk, wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Did anybody wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Did anybody wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Anyway, whenever I start to feel built up energy or crankiness, I will play some music and move intuitively. It could be flute music like I'm playing right now, which I love the flutes. We love the flutes here. It could be back that ass up or hip hop and make you jump, jump or whatever. However, that song goes, something to make you jump, jump, crisscross and make you jump, jump. Um, there's a song called This Will Be an Everlasting Love. I will play it um, when we start making coffee today. Um, it is one of my happy songs. No matter where I am, no matter what I'm going through, no matter what's in the bank, no matter who is DMing me or my partner craziness, this will be, this will be a little last new love. Um, it is literally like one of my happy songs. I love uh, This Will Be. I also love Diana Ross's Take Me Higher. Drop in the comments uh, what your happy songs are. Maybe we need to make a happy song playlist. Um, I play some music and move intuitively. I don't have to look a certain way. Simply move and feel the stress or heaviness begins to ease out of my body. One more time for the people, for the producers. And thank you to the Love and Action Network. Thank you to our uh, Beautiful Soul Mod Squad and producers here um, for keeping everything moving forward in joy. Uh, I'm very, very grateful to have a team that wants to move forward in joy, committed to freedom, committed to uh, waking up today to the truth of who you are. Some of you are waking up for the first time to the truth of who you are. Some of you are beginning to see for the first time that life is one big joke. 
Some of you for the first time are beginning to see that life is one big riddle, one big joke. Um, and so thank you for doing the work to wake up to that joke uh, and to step into your freedom. You may have seen by now that some people want to be free and some people don't want to be free. Take an inventory of the people around you. Take an inventory of how they behave. Take an inventory of what they say. Take an inventory of what they do. And you'll find that everybody doesn't want to be free. 28 hundred people in the space there's only 11 of you left what does that mean there's going to be a small fraction of people in life who will get free using tools like end of time by beyonce or maybe they just flush the toilet and now they had to go back off of their breaks to work who knows um but love and action network members are committed to freedom one last reading of the card and then we'll move over to fellowship hall so i can make my coffee and i will be moving out of the energy of crankiness and we will have done our work here today talking to almost three thousand people um about the fact that they're loved and lovable and i haven't even had my breakfast or coffee yet that is how easy it will be in the future to spread love if we want to but we have to want to it's gonna be very very it's very easy now let me say that it's very easy now to be love. It's very, very easy now to amplify. Sure, I've got camera training. I've got performance training. I've got public speaking training. I've got all this resume behind me. So it makes it easier for me through my craft in order to show up and to tell you to your face that you're loved and lovable. But even if that were not the case, it would be easy for anyone to go live today on some platform. Maybe you can't go live here on this platform because of the way that it's structured, but you can go live somewhere and call for love. You can go somewhere and, and be a presence for love. You can go somewhere and call for a ceasefire today uh, in the hearts of us, in the minds of us, and in the world. There's no need for, for violence against ourselves and others today. There's no need for that. As above, so below. As above, so below. I can move emotions. That's all we do here in Love and Action Network is move emotions. <laughs> Dr. Flo, why do you sleep so well at night? Because I spend all day in my community moving emotions and moving emotions is a task. Moving emotions is a job. Have you ever tried to move your emotions? Have you ever tried to raise your vibration, especially when you're having a bad day? Maybe you spent all your money. Maybe you spent all your money on the holidays. Hey, Caden Boston. Caden Boston in the house. Love and action member. Welcome to the... Hey, what's good, man? Caden Boston's in the house. Oh, you see my heart? Just heart shocker day. Good to see you, Bubba's. Ah, Caden Boston. Seeker. A love and action network seeker like me. So good, so good. So yeah, sometimes I um I can get a bit mm, in life. Oh my God, man, we're all, we're all gonna win. We are all gonna, when I say Caden to you that we are all gonna win, ah! So Caden, the reason why I rejoice about you um, is because, and it's happened a couple times, but then we've also lost them because they were a bit problematic. Every time a divine masculine energy that's balanced heavily uh, or balanced significantly with a divine feminine energy, I require that all of us have balanced energies here. But every time a divine masculine energy comes into the network, I get excited because we need that calm bro dude energy to just have a well-rounded fun bunch. And so... Uh, I can tell you some other time about the circumstances of our previous divine masculine energy and how we told them like, yo, you're not going to be toxic in here with us. And then that quickly ended because some of the bros need to know that like, yo, you can be here, but you can't be toxic in your energy. What I love about you, Caden, is that you are positive light and you are elevating and raising your life up into higher vibrations and you're loving yourself as a divine masculine more and more. When divine masculine energy begins to nurture and love itself, ah, shabalaba ding dong. <laughs> Excuse me. When divine masculine energies like Caden and myself, and 
when the divine masculines and even the divine masculines in some of these uh, uh, women types like Kamala and them, you know, that's divine. locking people up as a prosecutor, Kamala is that's a divine masculine type of situation. But I'm going to stop today on that. OK, <laughs> um, OK. But when the divine masculine starts to touch into the softer side of Sears, when men start loving and forgiving themselves for everything they've done over the last 20 years, when men start loving and forgiving themselves for their mistakes, when men start loving and forgiving themselves for the ways in which society tried to make us a man, I'm going to move on, y'all. Once that starts happening, we're going to be free, 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 free. We're going to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And that's going to be some hot shit. When we start to love our neighbors as we love ourselves, that's going to be some hot shit. But let me get off of that because y'all know how I like to talk about divine feminine, divine masculine, balancing inside, feeling whole and complete and full as you are. That is, that is my kink. My kink is humans feeling whole and full and safe and enough. Oh, drop some waves in the chat if you can feel your freedom coming this morning. Drop some waves in the chat if you can feel your freedom coming this morning. This is a faith journey. Drop some waves in the chat if you can feel your faith rising. If you can feel your help coming. If you know that this year is going to be a strong end. You have a strong end to this year. And a strong beginning of the new one because your future is bright. I see you, Fractal. Good morning. I see you, Tara. I see you, Starlight. I see you, Caden. Your future. Oh, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yes. Your future is bright. I see you, Jay. I see you, Jay. Blowing the trumpet of freedom. I see you, Caden. I see you, Starlight. I see you, Fractal. There is something happening. We are waking up to the truth. What our mamas did and our daddies uh, uh, did and what our mamas did and what our daddy said that could only take us so far in our personal journey. We were here to wake up and become more for ourselves. We were here to taste and see that our lives are good for ourselves. We were, we were called to figure out our own personal curriculum and soul journey. Okay? We were also called today by the card to dance it out. I'm going to read it one more time and then we're going to move over to the Google Meet for those who want to talk back and forth. Um, to uh, the flow, whoever he is. <laughs> we can talk some other time about, we'll talk some other time about how I feel very strongly that, uh, do not follow me, Caden, though. Do not follow me because I may not lead. And don't lead me because I may not follow. Just walk with me, Caden, as a friend in Love and Action Network. Um, because the flow guy... I don't know about him. I'm <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. And, and Tara ain't even never. She ain't never met him. Dr. Flo, she ain't never met him. There's a Buddhist joke in there too. <laughs> There's a Buddhist joke in there. They say that if you see the Buddha walking down the road, meaning if you see any spiritual leader or authority over your life, if anybody's like telling you what to do outside of being loving, loved and loving, you should uh, unalive the Buddha. If you see the Buddha walking through the street, you should unalive him. There's a, there, that's a Buddhist, ancient Buddhist text. It will go over some people's heads, but essentially the teaching is that if you see anybody trying to tell you what to do in your life or be the spiritual authority for you when you know what's best for you, you should get rid of that energy. Um, in fact, in our ecosystem of love, um, Tara and I always say to each other, we don't should on ourselves here. For those of you shoulding people, you people who should all over yourselves, it's a stinky situation to should all over yourself. I'll leave you with this before reading the card one last time. Don't should on yourself today. I should do this. You should do this. My mama should, my daddy should, my partner should. They should do this or else. Do not should all over your life and do not should all over other people's life. We're all leading each other home. So don't should on yourself today. Maybe you could go for a walk today to elevate your heart and heart chakra day and, your, your, and strengthen your heart muscle which has brain, uh, we've discovered this week that the heart has brain cells in it. Did you know that the heart has brain cells in it? So whatever's moving in your heart connects to your mind. 
I could go on and on, but we don't have time. Dance it out. If you're stuck in your life today in any way, now you may need to go into the, if you're one of those cool people, if, you, if you're one of those cool people that doesn't want anybody to see that you have emotions and feelings and fears and public and private pain the way that I do. I have very public and private pain. I'm always asking for help and support because life is crazy for adults. But if you are stuck in your energy and you also don't want anybody to see you, close the door to the bathroom. When you get home, if you're at work or if you're working from home, go into a, a, a room you can even turn the, 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 the sound on to a low volume. I recommend turning that shit up because you're low. But turn it to whatever volume you want and then just give yourself a good feeling and dance in the mirror. And I want to take it even further this morning by telling you to dance it out while looking into a mirror or a video camera and saying, I love myself. Dr. Flo, I love you. I really, really love you. And as you're dancing... Just look yourself in the eyeballs uh, as your own partner on the dance floor of life and just say, yo, this is not really the music right now for this, but for some people, this is like, back that ass up. Dr. Flo, I love you. I really, really love you, man. And I know that you're doing the best that you can in 2023 and I know you're doing be the best that you can with the people who are surrounding you and the energies that are surrounding you and I know that you are putting your best foot forward for the healing of the planet and I know that you're showing up even with crust in your eyes and no coffee in your cup to just do your best and I know that you're aligning with and connecting with people who are loving and want to raise their own personal love vibration inside for the healing of themselves and the healing of the world as above so below it's above so below it's above so below i'm so grateful that all the love that i give out in the world returns to me multiplied i'm so happy that i'm so happy and grateful now i'm so happy and grateful now i'm so happy and grateful now y'all better catch this boost this morning oh eight people in the room <laughs> ah they they i guess i saged the midst I'm, with, I'm so happy and grateful now. I see you, Caden. I'm so happy and grateful now that that brother's energy is rising. Overflow, 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 overflow. May we live from the overflow today. No matter how much they try to tell us what is the reality we see in the spirit, we know that we are loved and lovable. We know that we are capable. We know that we are strong. We know that we can dance it out. I can move emotions through my body by dancing. Whenever I start to feel built up energy or crankiness, I will play some music and move intuitively. I don't have to look a certain way. I don't have to look a certain way. I don't have to look a certain way. For you people who are so concerned with how you look, I have not brushed my teeth today. And 2,800 people, 2.8 thousand have already received into their heart on the screen that they are loved and lovable. I haven't even brushed my teeth today. I don't need to brush my teeth. I'm going to brush my teeth today, but all I'm saying is I don't need to brush my teeth in this moment because you can't, <laughs> you cannot smell it, glory to God. So you don't have to look a certain way in order to be in your joy. To move energy, you don't have to look a certain way. Some of y'all think you got to put on makeup to feel like somebody. They're calling for the authenticity chant. I don't have to look a certain way. Simply move and feel the stress and heaviness begin to ease out of my body. Kaden, what, you, what is your feel good song? What song do you put on to make you feel juicy in life? Nuck if you buck. Nuck if you buck is a bop. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. We're going to read the authenticity chant. It's so awesome that Fractal Doula is in the space this morning. We love Stacia. Stacia is my mental health practitioner and support. She's the one that keeps Dr. Flo from going mental with all of the people around him and the energies around him. And so I'm very, very grateful also because uh, Stacia, Fractal Birth, is the person uh, who... Uh, did I miss... I apologize if I misgendered. It was not uh, intentional. Um, they are the ones who gave me um, uh, access to, and maybe even this copy of Emergent Strategy. Um, and once again, folks, the, the revolution will be televised 
um, but it but it may not be attended by all. We've had 4.4 thousand people uh, come in this morning, all receiving into their heart, they're loved and lovable. Four to six are left now. We understand that uh, Harriet Tubman went back to free all of the slaves, and some of them wanted to stay. Harriet Tubman, as sure as I'm Blick, she went to she went back to free all of the slaves. And there were many that did not want to go. Uh, page 197 uh, of Emergent Strategy. This is the foundational text that we're building the mission off of. Um, it's really, really juicy. It, it The premise of the book and the premise of the teachings borrowed from Octavia Butler and beyond is that nature, Mother Nature herself teaches us everything that we need to know about the flow of our lives. We can use the ways in which the trees relate to the ecosystem of life, the sky, the soil, the water. Water is an excellent teacher. Oh, is Kendrick Lamar the one that was like, we gonna be all right? Is he the one? We gonna be all right. Nigga, we going to be all right. Is that him? We need to get it. Okay. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. It's also Kendrick Lamar from um from Black Panther. That I can't remember right now. But yeah. We going to be all right. Nigga, we going to be all right. Ay oh, yes. <laughs> I love it. I do. No woman, no cry. We need to get a list going so that we can, although fractal birth is is the absolute royalty, uh, gender neutral uh, royalty of, um, of our community when it comes to playlists, but I can see a playlist starting uh, for us. Uh, yes, Kendrick Lamar would be nice. A little um, George Clinton. Make my funk the P funk. I want to get funked up. Authenticity chant. And thank you so much to Love and Action member Caden, Love and Action member Stacia, Love and Action member Starlight, Love and Action member. Do we get attendance taken on everybody this morning, Tara? Did everybody get their credit? If not, we can take care of that later. But we want to make sure that everybody in the space. Oh, I'm very down with the funk. Uh, you should know that by the trees I ride to Saturn. <laughs> My father was saved, um, but had lived a very parliament funkadelic life before he met Jesus. So he exchanged one crazy um, for another, but whatever. All right, thank you, Tara, for taking care of it. Uh, 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 yeah, my mother was obsessed with Prince and Karen Carpenter. So that explains a lot about me and my singing and stuff. She's obsessed with Andre Crouch, Karen Carpenter, and Prince. My father was a big uh, Parliament Funkadelic and Luther Vandross fan. So all of those things are kind of woven into, yeah, <laughs> it does. it does explain a lot. Yeah. So all of those high notes I hit every song, that's Prince. The Luther Vandross is like the crooner part of me. Uh, the Parliament Funkadelic is me rolling in the floor. That's also the Patti LaBelle part of me. All these influences, right? Um, and then the Karen Carpenter part is like that very like smooth crooner. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That thing is like very, but then the Purple Rain is like that, yeah, you know. So it's all in there. Anyway, page 197. Uh, and then we'll move to Fellowship Hall. And sorry that we're late. Um, we just got, it got really, really good in here. And we started chatting. And so that's amazing. And 4.4 thousand people. That's the final number of attendance today. 4.4 thousand people came into Love and Action Network. Caden, uh, Starlight, Stacia, Tara. I thought I saw Angie somewhere roaming the property this morning. Maybe. Um, but this is the healing vibes of 
now. Um, the religions of our parents served us up into a certain point, but we're now stepping into the age of Aquarius. Or maybe I heard Angie being talked about on in, in the super chat this morning. Or talked to, I don't know. Um, but we're moving into the age of Aquarius, folks, where the blinders of life and the smoke and mirrors game that the older generations are playing, meaning that they could just say, like, go sit down. And we would go sit down as six-year-olds, right? Then they said, go sit down. You know, stay out of grown folks' conversation. Eight years old, nine years old, 10 years old. Then you turn 12, 13, 14. Oh, you think you're grown now. You ain't grown now. Then you're 15, 16, 17. Oh, you think you're grown now. Oh, you think you're grown now. Then you, became, then you become 18. You're actually grown. And they're like, go sit down. You're like, no, I got something to say. I'm demanding a ceasefire. I'm demanding peace in my heart, peace in my mind, and peace in the world. I don't want to live the same way that, like, I see the way y'all, for those of us who are healing generational trauma in our community and in our families, we see the way they lived. I see the way my mama lived. I see the way my daddy lived and died. I don't want none of that. I want something new for me. I want money in my pocket. I want joy in my cup. I want love in my heart. I want commu I want friends that uh, that don't that aren't secretly hating me. I want community that's not in competition with me. I want people around me that every time I win, they don't see that as a loss of themselves. They see it as a win for the whole and a win for the culture and a win for all light workers. Got people that got people, got people. If that makes sense. Also, 18 as adults who as adult, yes. 18 as adult is a joke because our brains aren't fully developed until well into our mid-20s. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That eight, I, I feel especially called. I don't really like Poppy Water has called me into and and a rank and a, and has aligned things in a way to where I'm around children. And we'll be continuing to work with children and teach children and, and, and help children grow. But that 18 to 28, that 18 years old <clears throat> to 28 year old range where I could look a young person right in the face and say, you got to get your shit together. That's what I'm called to. I will do the the teenagers like 13 to 18. Um... People keep wanting me to work with the small children. I think I'm a bit too harsh in my energy uh, for the children. Poppy Water likes to talk kid. Yeah, He talks to kids as an adult talks to a kid, but he likes to engage children. My ministry to Fractal uh, Bird's point is that I think that I'm called right now in life to speak truth and love and encouragement into the 18 to 28 year old crowd um but I don't know if that's because I'm pushing 40 or what um yeah I can't tell a five-year-old to get their shit together but I can definitely tell a 24 year old or 20 year old or 22 year old to get your shit together the, the things that you are doing right now in your life are influencing your tomorrow. The decisions and choices you're making at 20 will reach into the future. Ask me how I know 20 years later. So, but you see, when I start telling people to get their shit together, we get like three people in a room. <laughs> Let me not posture. Let me not front. Let me not say yes to lives I don't want. Let me not use words that don't mean a thing. Let me be fly as I am. No trying. Let me good for my heart, not my rep. Let me be still when I can't take a step. Don't let me get too caught creating my face. 
let me just love me all over the place. I'm gonna read it one more time because that felt so good. Let me not posture. Let me not front. Let me not say yes to lives I don't want. Let me not use words that don't mean a thing. Let me be fly as I am. No trying. Remember we talked about that T word the other day, Starlight, if you're still in here. No T word. Let me be fly as I am. No trying. Let me good. Let me good for my heart, not my rep. Let me be still when I can't take a step. Some of you are out here today, you're not knowing which path to go. Um, people are putting pressures on you to take action. We have pressures being applied to us to take action. Um, y'all know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about, but some of y'all know internally what's going on with you. Um, people pressuring you to make a decision. People pressuring you to pick up the phone. People pressuring you to um, take their visitations. Um, things like that. Let me be still when I can't take a step. I don't know who this is for, but I want you to know that if you're not feeling confident, then you cannot stay stuck forever. But if today you're not feeling confident responding to someone or moving forward, you are completely in your power to stand still. You can say to them, let me think about it. You can say to them, let me pray about it. You can say to them, I don't know. I'll get back with you. That's completely valid and okay. It aligns with the authenticity chant. It, al it aligns with their authenticity to say, I'm going to be still until I'm clearly shown what to do. And then they must wait. Unless they're prepared to actually barbecue sauce you and eat you, in the words of Dolly Parton, what you going to do, eat me? Unless you're actually going to pull out the spicy barbecue, and trust me, child, Dr. Flo requires spicy barbecue on this brown skin. Unless you are prepared to pull out the barbecue sauce and actually eat me, you're going to wait on the Lord. And by the Lord, I'm talking about me. I don't know who that message is for this morning, but somebody is being pressured in the ways that we are being pressured to act and behave and perform and to do and to show up in certain ways. They will have to wait. They will have to wait and be happy about that waiting. Let me be still when I can't take a step. Don't let me get too caught creating my face. Let me just love me all over the place. Oh yes, Fractal, they will have to wait. Same thing in your life. Pressure, any pressures coming in or people trying to say, well, what do you feel or what are you gonna do? Or you know, maybe you do this to yourself. What do you feel? What are you gonna do? What do you feel? I'm going to be still and know that I'm God. I'm gonna be still and know that I'm God. Um, you saw somebody else from my tribe that I was stolen from in Africa in Walmart yesterday. You did not see me in Walmart yesterday. I did not shop at Walmart. But you saw somebody else who was allegedly in the tribe that my people were stolen from. And that's why we look very similar. Reminds me of the person yesterday that came and asked me what my ethnicity is. My ethnicity is stolen. But now I'm found in spirit. But you didn't see me in a Walmart yesterday. I don't shop at Walmart. But my ethnicity and the ethnicity of that person you probably saw that looked like me is stolen. But we're finding ourselves in strong community. Any closing thoughts? Visit lovedandlovable.org. Lovedandlovable.org. Yes, my, my ethnicity is ladybug. They told me that I was a cross of an Arab and a ladybug yesterday. So, yes. You don't think he was stolen? Okay. Then you need, you need to crack a history book and, and see the history of 500 years of this thing called... It's C-H... I think it is C-H-A-T-T-E-L-S-L-A-V-E-R-Y. 
If you put that into the, the Google, just go into Google. Google is G-O-O. -O. You got it? G-O-O-G-L-E. -O -O That's the website. It's called Google. Very, very popular. Then you'll go into the little box that they have up top and you'll type in C-H-A-T-T-E-L or is it L-E? And then, and then S-L-A- V E R Y. Let me make sure that I got that the right way. I don't want to miss. I don't want to mislead and misguide um, this this lovely white heart in the space. Um, let me make sure that I. One second. Just one second. I want to make sure that I go. Now you want to go to this website. It's called. It's G. Oh. It's G O O G L E and then C H A T T E L S L A V E R Y E L. It's E L. It is E L. We were we were onto something. And if you type that in, that will explain how you think you saw me in Walmart yesterday. C H A T T E L S L A V E R Y. Any other closing thoughts before we go to Fellowship Hall? <coughs> what a time. What a time. Okay, no closing thoughts. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be free of all suffering. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be free of all suffering. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be free of all suffering. And may a big love hold you today and every day in its big, big hands. I'm so grateful for love. I'm not sure about some people, but I'm grateful about love. I'm not sure about some circumstances, but I'm grateful for about love. I'm not sure about every condition of my life, but I'm grateful for love today. As above, so below, as above, so below, as above, so below. I'm cleansing you of all your bullshit right now. You're being cleansed of all bullshit. Good morning and many blessings to you, doctor. I pray that your Christmas was beautiful. I had the best Christmas of my life. Thank you so much, Anaya. I had the best Christmas of my life. It was amazing. I'm about to use the coffee grinder that I was given. The Ladybug King. Ah! Wouldn't that be amazing? Oh, I would love, let me continue to charge y'all. I would love, this will remove all of the bullshit from your life and keep your energy crispy today. That's above, so below. I would love to have a suit, like an actual three piece suit made in a lady, uh, ladybug print with big glasses. I'm obsessed. Y'all know that, it, that in a version of my life, I'm gonna own a beetle. I really, really want um, to to drive a Volkswagen Beetle that has the little. Uh, have you ever seen them with the um, eyelashes on them? I cannot wait. That's how you know that Doctor Flo has made all the money that he wants to make when he has a Volkswagen Beetle with the little. And I'll name I'll name it. You know what I'm talking about? I love a Volkswagen Beetle, little oppression country car. <laughs> Little oppression country car. Yeah, yeah, I want one of the classic ones. Yes, thank you so much, Anaya. Yeah. Oh, see, this tracks, this tracks. We love. I, I cannot drive a stick shift. My father tried to teach me, but he also was an abuser. So getting yelled at and getting called names and berated by somebody who was trying to make you a man through like, teaching how to drive manual I just couldn't do it but in this life because it's it's a cord coordination thing I already with the vehicles on compound have to push the gas and the brake at the same time to keep it from rolling back into the car behind me at present so that's the same thing you have to do with the clutch system um in a manual car I think I would love like I would love that 
no, not a good way to teach. You don't want to be called the N slur and all kinds of other F slur and things while you're trying to learn to drive. That's just a recipe for disaster. And my father was so uptight in teaching me to drive that I ended up like having to pay for a mailbox in the neighborhood because I drove into the mailbox because he was just doing the most. But yeah, they do, yeah, they, they do have automatic old school uh, Beatles for sure. And the new ones, you can get them. I would love a hybrid or electric Beetle if they make those. I don't know, we'd look into that. All right, thank you everybody. We, we were here a little long today, um, but it was so juicy. I'll be putting the replay of this over in the Telegram archives for those of you who uh, want to see and know that there's an active documentary going on. Dr. Flo and the Love Experience. I've been filming my life for the last 12 years and you all are part of that awesome process. Tara uh, has gotten stuck on the VW thread and will not let it go. And that's all good. Ooh. What are you asking the universe for today? What do you need? That's how we'll land. I need more peace. I definitely need more patience. I definitely need more love. I definitely need more motivation. What do you need today? And if you need the needs list, there's a needs uh, wheel on the main site, lovedandlovable.org. If you're not sure about what you need, you'll have it. You'll have all the things, Taryn. <clears throat> you will have all of the riches that you desire and deserve. You will have, all, you will have it all. As above, so below. You will have it all. I'm going to the needs list right now. Um, someone please keep an eye on the clock because Dr. Flo is long-winded. Um, okay, so we have needs. This is good. The community is asking today for balance and motivation and courage. It's above, so below. Balance, balance to not get too far to one side of a situation or another side of a situation, but to stay right in what we call in Buddhist psychology, the, the middle path. Um, just to stay right in the middle, not too high in our emotional state, not too low, but right in just for today, just so. Being motivated by our real why. Our real why is to make a difference in the world and to be of impact and service. May we be motivated today by the power of our impact starting in this moment and have the courage to do the things that we know we're able to do. What does it say? God grant me the serenity. Higher power grant me the serenity to change the things I can, to accept the things I can't change, and a willingness to know the difference. And having the courage to change the things that we know we are able to do um, will will help, will help. Energy, yes, 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 yes. Uh, I'm curious about your headache today. Did the headache subside or did it not subside? We should be talking about this in private, but whatever. Um, drink some water, have some coffee, if that helps. If you click on the emotion wheels on the main page and go to page five. Do you have a need for self-esteem today? Do you have a need for choice? Do you have a need for freedom? Do you have a need for learning? Do you have a need for challenge? Do you have a need for respect? Do you have a need for boundaries? Do you have a need for order? Do you have a need for peace? Do you have a need for control? Do you have a need for safety? Do you have a need for relationship? What do we need today? Energy is needed. Caden needs more knowledge. Yes, as above, so below. Remember that, um, what does it say? Uh, we have a just for today, Caden, in the community that says just for today, I will read something challenging. So if you take about, um, if you take about 15 minutes every day to just read something that is nourishing to your soul, um, 
it will change your life. Caden, have you heard about the Kabbalion? I can send you a copy of this. This is a book that predates the Bible. Um, it is ancient hermetic philosophy and universal knowledge and truth. I, if you need more knowledge, you didn't ask me for this. Um, but if you need, and it's 11.11 on the East Coast, y'all. Um, as above, so below. But if you need um, more knowledge and you want your, you're talking about a tree. If you want your roots to go deeper and your, what do you call this on trees? Your branches. <laughs> if you want your branches to grow out and your roots to go deeper, I would start with reading a little section of the Kabbalion every day. And if you want a website um, where uh, it can read it to you, um, I can get you both a physical copy and also a audio copy to just get it in your ears. But the as above, so below energy that you're expressing or that you were expressing here, um, the as above, so below is very much Kabbalion energy and it's universal uh, law and truth. Um, predating the Bible, the law of gender, the law of um, cause and effect, that we are always in cause of our lives. Where we choose to plant our trees, Caden, is what will grow. If you plant your tree by polluted water, um, you will get a polluted tree. If you plant your tree by rivers of living water, you will get the foliage. Um, you will get the foliage that you desire. And your foliage, energetically, I've seen you on camera like once or twice. I've seen you in typing. Your foliage is adjacent to really, really good fruit. I just want to make sure that you continue to get great water for your foliage. But your fruit and your energy strikes me as that you're a good tree with great foliage and great fruit. Um... We just want to keep the water, not necessarily for me, water's everywhere. Access to it is a little sketch, hashtag Flint. Um, but you, you got the foliage and you got the tree and you got the amazing roots. Now it's about the water. We're here for the water. They don't call me Dr. Flo for nothing. Good morning, Angie. You're loved and lovable. Lots of love to you as well. Happy birthday to... Uh, branches too. Yes, yes. This is all, you would love emergent strategy, my guy. Because nature's teaching us. These roots go deep, deep, deep into the soil, nourishing soils. And then also what, we, what we're finding is that these trees, like our tree, my tree trunk and your tree trunk, the roots are talking to each other. In the forest, out in the yard, all of these trees are literally in one big telephone conversation through their root system and then what their roots say to them and their water supply to uh, dictates and determines what we see through the foliage uh, and on the branch branches but your branches I need to get my coffee your branches um, hold fruit we could talk sometime soon Caden about whether or not your fruit is actually being plucked off the vine by you or if it's just withering on the vine if you're like me um, most of my fruit, because I have a very abundant tree, my, most of my fruit, because of procrastination or some other mind virus, um, will often just rot on the vine. It could have been plucked, it could have been juiced, it could have been pared, it could have been, uh, uh, it could have been pickled, it could have been put in a mason jar, it could have been saved, it could have been eaten, it could have been used. Most of us, uh, as light workers. Our fruit is kind of sitting there on the vine and just withering on the vine because we don't have the confidence and courage yet as the community is asking for it to pluck it. I want to encourage you today in whatever way um, is possible for you to start to pluck your fruit and to take a bite of it and be like, yo, my life is fucking good. Uh, I want to then now grow it with more with more um, uh, with water, with, with just really, really yummy water. Hi, Angie. We see you. Five minute warning to Fellowship Hall. Thank you, five minute warning. Caden says, I learned about it when I first started. Then it's brought me back uh, as I've started to learn. Sorry, I'm going, uh, where's the comment? Learn about alchemy. Oh my God. You're into alchemy. I'll send you everything. I don't think Caden also is in Starlight's in it, but there is a wisdom tree 
that exists in the cloud that I have curated. And in that wisdom tree is a bunch of juicy alchemy and spiritually based teachings, audio, video, and some books. I'm gonna make sure you get a link to that personally today, Caden. Um, there's a copy of the Kabbalion in there and the audio is in there as well. And um, yeah, you're gonna really, really like that. Um, Kabbalion, uh, K-A, I'm gonna send you it all. Uh, it's And it's definitely in the wisdom tree for those of you who are, are in that part of life. Um, but yeah, I've got a, there's like 50 some teachings and spiritual things that I have picked up along the journey that's in there. Um, and I'll make sure you get it all. I listen to more uh, books than I read these days just because I like to have a, a constant ingest of knowledge. But depending on whether you like to read sacred text or listen to them, there's um, some sermons by Reverend Ike in there. There's a bunch of Louise Hay um, in there. May she rest in power. So if you're tapping into the science of life, the spiritual sciences of life, and the alchemy of these things, you're gonna love uh, Wisdom Tree and you're gonna love the Kabbalion. K-A-B-Y. Oh, I need help. I need I need help. Ooh, Lord. No, that's a cable channel. One second. I would fail spelling. And it's there's seven principles, very hard to find, okay. Kabbalion, K-Y-B-A-L-I-O-N, K-Y-B-A-L-I-O-N. Uh, nothing rests, everything moves, everything vibrates, the Kabbalion. Everything has its own vibration. Physical aspects and objects, physical objects, as well as our mind emotions, all have vibrations. The law of vibration that is in all things, as all things, um, Kabbalion. And once you start to relate to the vibrations as we're supposed to, you're going to see the whole world of your shift. Yes, I've been told I have talents that I haven't been using because I don't, uh oh, because I don't believe that I can do it, but I still, I'm still trying to figure out what that is. Stay in your personal soul curriculum. Live your questions. There is no rush. There is no fire. The only bullshit that we have is what we create. So do not create any bullshit for yourself by thinking that you need to be further along than you are. Just continue to live your questions and to dig deeper into the well of knowledge. Knowing that you want more knowledge and you're wanting to acquire more knowledge is the first step. There are motherfuckers out here who think they know it all or there's nothing else to learn. That's scary. At least you want more knowledge. I'm sure you have a list in your head of niggas who do not want more knowledge. <laughs> the world is filled with people who do not want more knowledge. The fact that you want more knowledge means that you're going to find it. Because I have a list of at least more than two handfuls of people in my head who do not want more knowledge at all. <laughs> Silly rabbits. The Kabbalion is fire. Okay, we got some cosigns. Yeah, Kabbalion, it's seven principles. If you live them out and apply them to the other aspects of your life, you, you will be, yeah. I'll make sure that, you, uh, that we get you into that. Um, in fact, we'll do that in fellowship hall. All right. Thanks everybody for being here. Um, 4.6 thousand people came through today. Some of them following the loved and lovable vibration. Um, we're, uh, I'm, I'm leaving now. I'm leaving now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being awesome. Uh, hopefully we'll see you around our programs today. This was the first one of many. Um, okay, great. So yeah, we will, I'm sending out a Google Meet right now into the Halo uh, channel. And we will also make sure that gets into the Telegram. Um, and then we'll see everybody in a little bit to talk about what came up for you today. And also to charge you the rest of the way for, um, 
for your amazing. Thank you, Love and Action members. Thank you, Real Loves Club. Uh, thank you to Team Better. And uh, I'll see you in a few seconds. This room will lovingly end with tons of love in five, four, three, two, and one. Stay groovy.